What's going on guys, welcome back to my personal channel, welcome back to another review, it's Leicester City nil, Chelsea 1 and Chelsea are through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. I will say though it was a big struggle and from Frank Lampard's press conference he was not happy with the way we played today. Lampard said that this was the worst performance he's had since managing Chelsea or taking over the club and I will say for the first half we were very very sloppy and we struggled to get out of the gates. We were on the back foot for a lot at the start. There was an early chance from Harvey Barnes which we did really well to hold on to but they were finding ways through our defence and the first half we just looked very sloppy both in defence and in attack and even in the transition from the defence to attack. Defensively there was holes and they were getting put under a lot and a lot of pressure because Leicester City's press was just really, really strong and aggressive. And you've got to give credit to Leicester City, which is something because we struggle to give credit to the opposition when we're talking about the way our team plays because we're always just focused on our own team. But we need to give Leicester City credit because Leicester City are in the top three for a reason. I think for periods of of this season they've been playing at a better rate than they were playing in the 15-16 season where they won the Premier League and there's a reason for that defensively they were very solid and it was very hard to get through them in midfield the press was just aggressive as and Vardy was always hanging around on the sides of Zuma and Rudiger trying to find the ball to get through and he nearly got through a couple times there was a couple warning signs but Kurt Zuma did very well to keep control of him Zuma I will say had a good performance today but I think he was still sloppy on the ball at times. I think defensively, we're very lucky to go into half time one at nil nil. And like Lampard said in, like what Ross Barkley said in the press conference, Lampard was not happy at half time. He told a lot of Chelsea players that they shouldn't, that they didn't have a performance worthy of the Chelsea badge. And I think it was a fair assessment to make off, based off that first half performance, because the first half performance was poor. A lot of people will give Billy Gilmore stick because I didn't think he had a good first half performance. What I will say is that he was in a completely different position to the two games against Liverpool and Everton where he won man the match. He was a deep line playmaker in those roles and this one we played him as a number eight. We wanted him to be more of a ball carrier. He struggled in the case of ball carrying but I think when he was on the ball his vision was smart. Passes were a bit unlucky at times but it was a completely different position and like I said, step up from development to Premier League football is completely different and he had an amazing first two games. So we can't be too harsh on him when he just has a, a bit of a drop off in performance because the first two games were just madness. Those games against Liverpool and Everton were crazy and I think Leicester City offered something completely different than both of those teams were offering and he was put in more challenging situations but I don't think he was a bad he was a bad player to say I think he just struggled a little bit but I don't think he had a bad performance um, going forward I think most of our attacks successful attacks were coming off Christian Pulisic Christian Pulisic when he comes in where he starts getting momentum behind him when he's beating players is a very tough player to stop so Yunku found out he got a very early yellow card just taking him down after he beat about two three players and was threatening to get an attack through into the uh, uh, final few defenders William I also want to give credit to because he was a brilliant he had a brilliant performance today Chino said in his fan cams he had, he had nine ground duels and completed about seven of them successfully but today was all, it was also a lot of play, a lot of players struggling with a different range of fitnesses and it showed itself it's kind of like the Aston Villa game where there was a lot of different range of fitness levels for a lot of different players and it's still showing itself again today like we already know previously like this is the weirdest year of Premier League football ever and with the pandemic and with the quick rush back to football as everyone's trying to complete their seasons it's a lot to ask for some of these players to all be at the same level of fitness we saw that at the Aston Villa game we're still seeing remnants of that today and we just need to be able to cope with that Reese James I don't think he had a good game today but like I said just coming back to fitness we saw from the Aston Villa game that it was nowhere near match fitness and we can't expect something completely different with the week smart from Frank Lampard to take him off though and Frank Lampard's substitutions really did have a positive effect on this game which I do want to give a shout out to because that's basically where the game turned on its head we needed someone like Mateo Kovacic who can beat the press and who is really good at getting the ball out of tight spaces we needed someone like Azpilicueta to give defensive leadership and the defense was completely different when he stepped onto the pitch and the second half just it turned on its head and we slowly started to get more and more into the game the first goal from Ross Barkley was a great cross from William and a good deliver and a good finish from Barkley but with Ross Barkley I do want to say he struggled at times as well I don't want to 
be too harsh because there's a lot of people that think I'm on some Barkley agenda and I just really call it how I see it. Ross Barkley is a very tough player to predict because sometimes you'll come across moments of brilliance and sometimes we'll just kill off a counter-attack. There was plenty of counter-attacks that were killed off by him and a lot of people are just going to focus on that one counter-attack towards the end where he was looking too much at Ruben Loftus-Cheek on the left-hand side when Pedro was literally clearing acres of space on the right. And it's just frustrating because if Ross Barkley had that bit more vision about him, there would be a good player there because he plays like he's a top quality player but I think up there the football IQ just isn't up at the same level with the quality at his feet and I think if there was a bit more connection there there'd be a much better player with Ross Barkley but credit to Frank Lampard because the substitutions were the main reason for the way we turned this game on its head William and ba William had a great performance I'd say him or Asby for man of the match but I'd go for Asby because I think that's where the and game was won or lost because defensively we were really shocking first half. Emerson personally, I think he had a terrible performance throughout the game and it didn't really change with La with Azpilicueta on the pitch or without. I don't think he had good performance. Rudiger, uh, he was alright but I think Zuma was the better defender out of the two. Zuma did very well to keep Vardy quiet in the, and he had the pace to match up to him as well and that's what Zuma always has with him to his strength. He's got that space and he can make a good recovery tackle as well. So I want to give credit to Kurt Zuma for that. Uh, is there anything else I want to say before I go to my player ratings? Uh, ben Chilwell because Ben Chilwell was the other left back and we've been linked with him for a long period of time. For 60, 70 million, he's not worth it. It just looked like a slightly upgraded Marcus Alonso, for being honest. He was good going forward. He likes doing those little underlapping runs. On the turn and coming back defensively, not so good. And I'm thinking if we're going to spend 60, 70 million, you want like a proper left back. You want someone that would rival Ashley Cole's legacy at Chelsea or something like that for that sort of money. And I don't think we're going to see that with Ben Chilwell. So I'm a bit, I'm cooling off a bit more on Ben Chilwell as we're going on. But uh, let's go straight into the player ratings. Willy Caballero. Um... Did he have a lot of tough chances to deal with? I don't think so. I don't think his distribution was all that great, but he kept a clean sheet, so I'm going to give him a six. Rhys James wasn't a good performance to him. I think he came into the game a little bit more towards the end of the first half, but it just wasn't good enough. And I think Azpilicueta's performance as well completely eclipsed his performance. So Rhys James, I'm going to give a four. Antonio Rudiger, hmm not the best long balls were a little bit sloppy from him today i'm gonna give him a five though yeah i'll, I'll give him a five i don't think he had a terrible performance but i also don't think he offered that much kurt zuma much better second half to the first half i think playing ball, the ball out the back he struggled with and i think if you start pressing him he's gonna get a little bit shook and that's something that he's gonna need to work a bit more in his game but not a bad performance i'm gonna give him a six emerson four as well i don't think he had a good performance i don't think he offered much i think he's really bereft of confidence and with us looking for a left back it's probably going to be him out the door because mark Alonso can at least offer us something from a left wing back position emerson i'm going to give a four and golo kante passes look sloppy again and Lampard's trying to get him playing into that dm role and i think it's something he's gonna to have to grow into a little bit Breaks up the play brilliantly, but I think it's the pass afterwards where he's struggling with a little bit. So I'm going to give him a... Uh, do I want to give him a six? Six. Yeah, I'm going to give him a six. Uh, Billy Gilmore. Only on the pitch for the first half. Struggled uh, with Leicester's press, but I think he still had his moments. I don't think he had a bad performance. I said that previously. I'm going to give him a 5, only because he was on the pitch for the first half. I don't know what he'd be like if he was on the pitch for the second half, but Frank Lampard's substitutions had a good enough effect on us anyway, so I'm not going to complain. William, great performance from him today. Very threatening down that right-hand side. He created the assist for the first goal. Uh, like we said, ground jewels. He was very good at winning the ball back, and his tracking back was excellent today, so I'm going to give William a 7. Mason Mount didn't see a lot of big moments from him unless there's something that I'm missing off the top of my head I'm gonna give him a five as well Pulisic he got pulled off early into the second half but a lot of the attack was flowing through him in the first half you could see that you could see the potential in this play you could 
there was a good, I think our best chance of the first half also came from Christian Pulisic in attack. It was a good stop from uh, Kasper Smeichel. So I'm going to give William, I'm going to give Pulisic a six. Tammy Abraham didn't have a lot of chances. Seemed very isolated. Balls weren't really finding him either. The long balls weren't that great from us today. Tammy Abraham, I'm going to give a five. I don't think... He had a good performance, but I also don't think the balls through to him were that great either. Uh, let's go to our substitutes. As for Equator, I'm going to give a 7 to. Yeah, I'm going to give a 7. And I'm going to give Man the match. I was thinking whether to give him an 8 or not in case I hadn't given anyone else a 7. But I'm going to give him a 7 and my Man the match. The defence was night and day to when, he, to when he was on the pitch and when he was off the pitch. So, yeah, As for Equator is going to get a... I said 7, right? Yeah, 7. Uh, Ross Barkley, really hard to predict this guy, man. This was so hard to predict this guy because he scored the only goal of the game and his drives forward weren't that bad. It's just the final end product of this guy. And like I said, it's footballing IQ and vision that always lets this guy down. If he had those two parts, if he can grow that, there's a brilliant midfielder. But with Ross Barkley, it's like that Gattuso meme where he's like, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Ross Barkley, right there. Barkley, I'm going to give him a six because he got the goal at least. And he was promising, but I want to be positive with Barkley. So I'm going to give him a six. Kovacic, we needed him to break the press. And he did that. It was another great Frank Lampard substitution. A great performance from him. So I'm going to give him a six as well. Pedro, not really much on the pitch. Best moment was, I think, holding the ball on for too long the same way Ross Barkley did in the role reversal, just to kind of say, this is what you're like sometimes. I'm going to give Pedro a five. No, no, no. I'm going to give Pedro a six. Ah, I didn't see much from him. I'm going to give him a five. Loftus-Cheek as well. Didn't really have much impact on the game. I'm going to give a five and just leave it at that. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the ratings or any of the comments that I've made on the players. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. The best to watch along will be out tomorrow on my personal channel as well. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Blues Fans TV with 500 subs off uh, 100k. Okay. So if you ain't done so already, please do so. And... Check out the next review soon. Chelsea versus West Ham. Let's beat these guys. Let's hopefully send them one step closer to the championship. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Up the Chelsea.